and welcome to Coding Meets Yoga. You're probably wondering, what is that? Well, it's a blending of two worlds that I think blend perfectly together. When you go to a workout, you look at the instructor to give you instructions. You follow those instructions one at a time. Well, similarly, in programming, the programmer writes up the code, the computer is going to go through line by line, doing what each individual line tells it to do. So with that idea, we're just going to get right into it. And then after we do the movement, I'm going to show you how what we just did applies to a fundamental concept in programming known as a for loop. So let's begin finding a comfortable stance, or if you feel more comfortable sitting, please do that. And if at any point in time during this workout, if there's something that I'm suggesting that you know just doesn't work in your body or doesn't feel right, don't do it. You know your body much better than I do, so please listen to it. All right, and with that, just start to settle in. You can leave your hands by your sides, bring them to your lower abdomen, and you're gonna bring your attention to the breath. You're gonna inhale for three, two, one, and exhale, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one. And now we're on our third deep breath. Inhale, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one. And just relax. We've done three deep breaths, and now I'm gonna show you what we just did, but with the concept of a for loop. So let me get my screen up and ready. Technical difficulties happening right now. All right, there we go. Okay, so here's what we just did. So we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna walk through what we just did following the code. So we're gonna begin at the start, and to begin with our counter is zero. We haven't taken any deep breaths, but we're gonna take a total of three deep breaths before we go back to just our nice, easy, normal breath. So when we get into the for loop, we need to check. Is our counter, which is currently set to zero, less than how many breaths we want to take, which is three. Zero is less than three. That's true. So we're going to jump in to our for loop. So we're going to go right here because this was true. And then once we've done one breath, we're going to check because our counter is now one because we've taken one breath. So zero plus one is one. And our total is still three. That's going to stay the same. Then we're going to come back here and check is our counter, which is now one, less than three. That is true. So we're gonna go back down here, take another deep breath. We've done two deep breaths. So our counter is now two. We're gonna check, is two less than three? Definitely is. Come back in, take our third deep breath. And this is where things change. So we're going to increase our counter to three. Our total is three. Is three less than three? No, that's false. So we're gonna come over here, and then we're going to break out of the for loop. And then if we're looking at a programming language, it would just continue with the next instruction. So let's do that again and just look at this while we're going through it and think about how it relates. All right, so finding that nice, easy stance or sitting position. And then just letting the shoulders relax, engaging the core slightly. And inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Our counter is now set to one. So we're gonna go back into the for loop. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Our counter is now two. So going back into that for loop. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Now our counter is three. So now we're gonna break out of that for loop. And congratulations, <laughs> you have completed your for loop. So for the next one, we're gonna do a little bit of movement and then I'll put the for loop back up on the screen and we'll talk about how the two of them relate. So just finding that nice stance, you're gonna inhale the shoulders up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, and one more time, inhale up, 
exhale down and then come to a wider stance and if you're sitting you can remain sitting and do the same movement you're gonna bring your hands by your sides and you're gonna bring one arm up and if this is uncomfortable you can always bring the arm a little bit down or you can leave your hand on your hip so let that shoulder come down sometimes it'll want to creep up so inhale rising up getting nice and tall and then exhale bend you're getting a nice stretch in the side body and then inhale coming back up and we're gonna switch to the other side bring the arm up and the shoulder come down inhale rising up nice and tall exhale bend and then you can always bring that hand to the hip if that feels more comfortable and then release and then next you're going to interlace your hands behind you and if they can't clasp that's totally fine you can just bring your hands to your hips we're going to focus on stretching the front of the chest so you're going to come here but we want to set ourselves up for success so you want to think about bringing the rib cage over the hips engaging the core so you can think of belly bend to spine Think of just squeezing everything towards midline, getting a nice engagement. You can also think about putting on a tight pair of pants, keeping that position in the spine. Start to bring your elbows behind you until you feel a nice stretch across the chest. And a tendency here when you bring the elbows back, the rib cage wants to come forward. Engage that core, brace the core to keep the ribs over the hips, standing up nice and tall or sitting up nice and tall. And then hold. If you've been sitting at a desk for most of the day, Hopefully this feels really nice. And if it's too much, you can always bring the elbows a little bit more forward. And then release, and we come back into the shoulder rolls. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, and exhale down. Perfect, all right, now I'm gonna share with you on the screen a for loop once again. And let me get to the right one. There you go. So it looks very similar to the one we just did. But then in the rectangle, let me get my annotation tool. Here we go. So right here, we just have follow instructor. To be honest, I was being a little bit lazy. I didn't want to write everything out. But in code, everything we just did, that would have been written out in detail so the computer would know what to do. Um, so we're doing a little bit of a hybrid, right? Like you have this, but then you also have me giving you instructions too. So we're just gonna do, do one cycle. So technically our for loop would end when we reach five. Um, but since this is just a demo, I'm gonna keep it a little bit shorter. So we'll just do one round and then it would have continued with that same cycle. So our counter is zero, our total is gonna be five. So counter is less than total, zero is less than five. So we're gonna inhale the shoulders up because we're into the block where it says follow the instructor. And then inhale down and pause and bring your hands to your sides and bring one arm up we're doing either side so it doesn't matter which side you start with let that shoulder come down and you're going to bend to the opposite side of the arm that's up or the hand that's on your hip really focusing on stretching out that side body and then coming back to center and then switch to the other side getting nice and tall slightly engaging the core and then bend And then coming back to center and then bring your hands to your hips or bring the hands together behind you interlacing the fingers engaging that core standing up nice and tall and just bring the elbows back stretching out in front of the chest you can focus on taking nice deep breaths to get more of a stretch throughout the front of the body and release and coming into three shoulder rolls inhale exhale down Inhale up, exhale down, and one more time. And release, and now our counter will be one, and our total will be five. And if this was an actual class, we would do this for four more rounds. Uh, but I just kind of want to give everyone an idea, and if you have any feedback, please, please give it to me. Um, this is definitely not a, a set class. It's definitely, I'm looking forward to it growing, working with others, and getting input. So thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoyed.